The AKV521 is a new model by Kalashnikov that combines all the most effective tech the AK system can offer. Let's find out more. How it came about The Kalashnikov AKV521 was developed upon request of Russian users who extensively use LPVO optics together with thermal NV clip-ons and weapon lights IR illuminators on their go-guns. The Kalashnikov AKV521 was first announced via social networks in late 2020 in semi-auto version geared towards the civilian market. Kalashnikov AKV521 is built upon a strong foundation of original Kalashnikov AK system but with many modern features. Designed by team led by Valentin Vlasenko, the AKV521 is intended to provide users with modular multi-caliber weapon which solves key problem inherent to basic AK-47 type platform lack of a stable base for mounting modern LPVO optics and NV devices. To achieve this goal, the Kalashnikov AKV-521 is designed with basic layouts similar to weapons such as SIG SG-550 or FN-FNC. This means that instead of the traditional U-shaped receiver with detachable top cover, the AKV-521 now features separate upper receiver with solid top and a lower receiver which houses trigger and magazine. Due to modular nature of the gun, it is planned to be offered with optional additional upper receivers with barrels, allowing for quick caliber or configuration change. The Kalashnikov AKV-521 carbine was scheduled to enter initial serial production by mid-2021 and offered in several most popular intermediate calibers such as 545x39mm, 556x45mm, and 762x39mm, and with two barrel lengths, standard 415mm and short 345mm. The Reason Behind AKV-521 The primary reason for designing the 500 series rifles is probably the need for having a solid full-length top Picatinny rail. Kalashnikov's Avtomat originally didn't have any optics mounting provision as the gun was designed in an era where scopes were specialized gadgets and not something that every rifleman was supposed to be equipped with. Later on, facing a need for mounting scopes on AKs, some rifles were fitted with the side scope mount. In 100 series AKs, the side rail became standard. While the side rail is not a bad scope mounting solution, it has its limitations in terms of scope location and ergonomics. With the adoption of AK-12 and AK-15 rifles, the Russian military ditched the side rail and transitioned to using the Picatinny rail on a large scale. However, these rifles have a Picatinny rail on the receiver top cover and although the Kalashnikov concern came up with an advanced way of top cover attachment, it's arguably not ideal either. Now, in the AKV-521, the railed upper receiver and barrel are basically permanently attached to each other. We think it is safe to say that this series of rifles will be the factory Russian AKs with the most rigid and reliable top Picatinny rail. The upper receiver of AKV-521 is fixed to the lower receiver by the front pivot point, rear takedown pin, and the rear end of the recoil spring guide rod. The safety selector is ambidextrous with a miniature AK-style lever on the right side and an AR-style selector on the left. The handguard is free-floated. The upper receiver of the prototype rifle is made of milled steel, however, the production models will have stamped steel uppers. Many of the parts of AKV-521, such as the trigger mechanism, are unchanged AK parts and the gun is compatible with standard AK magazines. Some parts have minor changes. For example, the BCG has a removable charging handle which is necessary for the disassembly. By the way, the charging handle attachment is compatible with, with QD sling swivel sockets which is quite a clever solution and allows storing the handle in a QD socked during the disassembly. The AKV-521 is chambered in 545 by 39 but Kalashnikov Concern plans to make 500 series AKs chambered in 762 by 39 223 Remington and 366 TKM as well. They will also make upper receiver assemblies with different barrel lengths. How it works The Kalashnikov AKV-521 uses traditional Kalashnikov-type gas-operated system with long-stroke piston and rotating two-lugs bolt. Major departure from traditional layout is that charging handle is moved to the left side of the bolt carrier and is made detachable for disassembly. Charging handle slot is covered by a spring-loaded dust cover similar to that used on the FN-FNC or IWI Galil Ace Rifle. Gas system with fixed gas tube welded to the upper receiver and with removable maintenance plug at the front is taken off the Kalashnikov AK-12 rifle. Both the upper and the lower receiver are made from stamped steel. Upper receiver formed from 1.5mm thick steel sheet with forged and machined barrel trunnion pinned at the front. 
Additional strength is provided by bolt carrier rails and the rear cross bridge, pinned inside the receiver. Lower receiver of AKV-521 is based on the receiver of the AK-12 rifle, with necessary modifications at the front and the rear. Trigger system is similar to that of other Russian-made AK-type rifles, but safety is modified to be ambidextrous and use shorter lever on the right side of the gun. Since the Kalashnikov AKV-521 features solid roof receiver, it also has the previously mentioned full-length integrated Picatinny rail at the top, which offers stable platform for various sighting devices. Standard sights for production rifles will be based on the AK-19 configuration with hooded front post on the gas block and the aperture type, diopter, adjustable sight at the rear of the top rail. Other features include fixed bird cage type muzzle compensator, barrel is threaded M14 by 1LH, and a free-floated handguard, also borrowed from AK-12 rifle. Shoulder stock is made from impact-resistant polymer, can be adjusted for length of pull and folded to the left if needed. Rifle is designed to be compatible with AK-type magazines in respective calibers. Export series and 5.56 by 45mm caliber can be supplied with lower receiver with AR-15 magazine well. What stands out? The most distinctive feature here is the fact that while staying about 85% compatible with the TR-3 carbine, a civilian market version of the updated AK-12 rifle, the new model boasts a receiver split into upper and lower. The bolt guiding rails, bolt, trunnion, barrel, gas block and muzzle brake have been relocated to the upper, while the magazine fixture, trigger group, fire selector switch and buttstock remain integrated with the lower half. The recoil spring locks against a post attached to the lower. Another feature is the charging handle made removable to provide for disassembly through the rear end. The receiver on the prototype is milled, while it will be stamped on the production model. The fire selector switch follows the logic traditional for the AK, meant to be operated with just the index finger. In this current version, we have a vertical fire selector switch on the left side, made like that to provide for folding the buttstock and locking it. Another major feature is the sight rail staying permanently linked to the barrel in all use cases, including disassembly, reassembly, and cleaning of the carbine. The rail here is just the correct height for a micro-reflex sight installed on a low mount to be one-third co-witnessed with the iron sights, which allows for using a red dot sight simultaneously with the iron sights. Final words. The AKV-521 is based on the reliable, combat-proven AK platform adapted for using a wide range of systems for day and night sighting and target flashlight IR illumination. The design of AKV-521 allows securely hold link between optics installed on the upper and the barrel inside the upper when the rifle is disassembled for maintenance or a barrel change, boosting the user's confidence in the rifle. This carbine is meant for people who aren't too keen on getting an AR. They don't think they can use an AR the way they use their carbines. They want a carbine to use with scopes that can withstand the punishment their habitual use case may entail. This is a carbine that doesn't need to be pampered. It's good with scopes, but you can also drop it without panicking about its well-being. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.